No one ever teaches you how to budget once you're in retirement. Most retirement videos or information is planning to get to retirement, not necessarily once you're there. In this video, I'm going to talk about things that I am no longer buying now that I'm retired. I think I've narrowed this down to 10 things and I'll share my hardest thing towards the end and what triggers most of my spending. It might be most obvious that the number one thing that I can give up buying are clothes. I dress professionally in my job and now I don't necessarily have to wear skirts and dresses and heels all the time so I can stop buying dress clothes. I have enjoyed buying more casual clothes and I don't really have a lot of casual clothes to go out and to socialize with but I don't really need any more clothes. I almost made this number 10 but drive through coffee. I actually quit buying drive through coffee about two and a half, maybe three years ago when I was going on a health journey to get more healthy. The amount of sugar in coffee drive through was way more than I ever needed. I was drinking my calories. When I gave up drive through coffee, I started making my own coffee here at home. And not only did it make me, is it more healthy, I have saved a ton of money. In my last video, I talked about coffee and not realizing how much you spend on coffee whenever you're going through the drive through every day and buying a $7 coffee. <laughs> Subscriptions. Everything is a subscription. Netflix, Hulu, Peacock. The hard part about that is now NFL is being streamed on all these different platforms. So if you want to watch one night of football, it's on Prime. If you want to watch another night, it's on Peacock and then it randomly switches to everything. So I'm trying not to buy so many subscriptions. This one is hard for me, but I monitor this all the time. I can go into my apps and check under subscriptions to see what I'm doing. Some of them are yearly and I don't realize when they get ready to upgrade. I think I see an email or whatever and I don't remember to cancel it. I've been going into my iTunes app store, whatever they call it now, and canceling my subscription, but that's really hard because everybody is getting you to get sucked into the subscription model. Heck, I would do it if I could figure out something for you all to subscribe to and pay me money. I interrupt this top 10 list to ask you to like and maybe subscribe to this video. Not necessarily. I think the two things that I'm honing in on in this series or on my channel at this time would be my retirement experiences and getting used to using YouTube or creating a YouTube channel. Actually, I'm pivoting my YouTube channel is what the other gurus say. If you do enjoy the content, if you could like or comment, what are the things that you're not buying? Anyway, I just had to plug that. And now back to my top 10 list. I'm still working on my no buy September. I need to do like a one week update on how I did. But another thing is if it's not on the grocery list, don't buy it. I go to the neighborhood Walmart instead of the Walmart Supercenter because I buy too much extra stuff. When I make my grocery list, I have decided I am going to stick to that. I think I did. The last time I went to the grocery, they were actually out of a couple of things that I needed, but I did not buy extra stuff that was not on my list. Makeup. I This goes along with what triggers my spending, but I don't need to keep trying all the latest makeup trends. We have an Ulta and a Sephora actually Ulta is way too close to me. I have spent so much money on makeup or skincare. That's another thing. Whenever I go to Ulta, I just need to get what I'm going to Ulta for and not walk around and check other things. I've been trying to be very determined in looking specifically at what I need and then getting out of there as fast as I can. Crafting supplies. When I first retired, I thought that I was going to make crafts like leather earrings or stickers, and I bought probably $100 worth of crafting supplies. Now, if I just would make something and sell it, I could make that money back right now. However, I'm all over the place and trying to figure out 
what I want to do next if I want to make crafts or do a principal subscription. So crafting supplies is my next one. And then gas station snacks. I am so guilty of gas station snacks. I go through these phases where there for about a month I was getting a Mountain Dew at Come and Go every day when I drove by to go do whatever errands I was running. I would do half Diet Mountain Dew and half regular Mountain Dew just because Diet Mountain Dew is disgusting, but I love Mountain Dew, but I don't want the calories. It's just like coffee calories. Then there's the pop calories. And then I would buy the checks. I would buy the checks mix and then M&Ms to add to it. So it was like the the trail mix, but it didn't have enough M&Ms. So I'd buy the trail mix and then I put another pack of M&Ms and I didn't eat it all in one sitting. Anyway, I was spending five or six dollars at the gas station and that's just dumb. So I'm not doing that anymore. One of the pieces of advice that I saw in every retirement advice session, Facebook video, talking to friends was eating out and not necessarily giving it up completely, but monitoring your eating out. And I did talk about that in another video, but for sure. And I have gotten away from eating out for quite a while when I decided I was gonna get healthier and just watch what I was eating. Eating out isn't that hard for me, but it's horrible for my kids. My kids love to eat out. For me, it's pretty easy. Number nine is extra Amazon purchases, which leads me to what triggers most of my spending and maybe your spending as well, and that is social media. When I am on social media, they just know. We, they, are, they target us with their ads. They listen to our conversation. Just try it. When you talk about something, I was talking about a location with a friend of mine who's changing where he's going to go to work. And all of a sudden, all of the rental and condo places in that town started coming up in my Facebook marketplace. So when you're talking about something, it automatically starts showing up in your algorithm. When I click on ads or I click on things, it also picks that up. And I've even turned off the settings that try to target what you buy or your location or I've tried to turn off all of those settings. I do get things on Amazon because it comes faster and it's easier and I don't have to drive across town but I'm monitoring my extra Amazon purchases. Last but not least would be buying technology and that would be the latest iPhone, iPad, new Apple Pencil, cameras, mics, tripods, lighting. I have all of those things, but I keep seeing more tech gadgets. There is a little cell phone stand that is just killing me that I want to buy so bad. And I may at the end of the month, if I have the money left over, I see how my budgeting goes, but I have to stop buying tech gadgets. I've made a deal with myself that I won't buy tech gadgets until I figure out another a side hustle or a secondary income of some kind just for extra spending. I don't need any more technology. I sure want a lot of the technology. There's tons of little handheld cameras and handheld microphones. Everything upgrades all the time. I always think I have to have the latest stuff, but I cannot keep buying technology. Well, that's a wrap on things that I have to stop buying. What are some things that you quit buying, whether you're retired or not? There goes the train. I live by trains, planes, and automobiles in my neighborhood. So anyway, tell me some of the things that you've stopped buying.